guys, it's Kyla, and today I will be doing um, a video about how I make my lip gloss. Sorry about my clothes, I just threw this on. But, of uh, uh, how I make my lip gloss for my slowly growing business. And, um, <clears throat> and I will, I, I wanted to do this video for a while, but I just had so many stuff, to, I have so much stuff to do with school that just started up, well, it started in September, but... I've been working on school. I just started the sixth grade in September. And it was like very frustrating to do a video. Don't mind my hair. It was very frustrating to do a video and school work that we just started. Don't mind my hands. So, um, I haven't posted a video in a while. And I'm very sorry for that. But yes, yeah, so I will be showing you guys how I make my um, lip gloss. For my lip gloss business slowly growing business again and if you want to follow our um if you want to follow our um like websites and um social medias i will leave that in the description or i will leave it on the screen most likely this the description and yeah right now. So this is the powder that I use for my pigments and stuff, and I got all my stuff from Amazon, and that's the lip gloss tube that I have, oopsies, that's the lip gloss base that I use for the lip gloss and stuff, and I like to use a spoon and a plastic spoon or plastic forks or spoon and bowls, um, that's the container that I use for storing stuff, that is the, um, alcohol that I use for like sterilizing the area and things like that I use individual syringes for each different color or each different packaging just for um, health reasons and stuff like that you guys and I try to like focus make it focus my camera so you can see it better and this is actually coconut oil and olive oil mixed together i would use those two but you could use like grape seed oil or like um vegetable oil something like that make sure it is um clean and make sure your area is really clean because you are dealing with things that are going to be on people's faces so i do recommend that but oh and that's also a tiny bowl that i just used so i'm usually making um lip gloss to sell for the my slowly growing business i would use a tablecloth and i will use the um uh sorry guys i will use the alcohol that i um have purchased to like you know sterilize the area and make sure everything's good but since I'm just showing this for a video and I'm not going to be selling this product, I'm going to just use this as a personal one. I will just not be using it. And I already cleaned my area though. And also guys, like I said, I also would use gloves. But like again, I, I'm just using a personal, I'm making the personal one for me. So, yeah. Okay guys, so what I'm doing here is I am putting the TK, I believe it's TK... B, yeah, TKB gloss base into the bowl, and I'm not going to be using a lot today because I am making just like a demo for you guys, just so you can guys can see how I um how I make this, and I am going to be making this on a bigger time lapse, so you won't have to be sitting here in this video for too long. Oh, excuse me, guys. But I'm a little tired. It is 1 in the morning. But I will be doing that. And I also... Oh, ew. There's my, I'm using a little cup again. And I am going to be adding water. Because that's one thing I forgot to be showing you guys. I meant to put that in the video. But I didn't. So I will be using... This is water right here. I am going to be putting some water inside. So I will be label, labeling that on the screen.
So now, you guys, I am using olive oil and coconut oil mixed together for a more glossier and moisturizing feel to the lip gloss. So it won't just be like a very thick, glossy base that I just made you guys slap on your lips. So I am going to be... Um, here, I did pour a little bit out. I would never actually do this on a real occasion of making lip gloss for my business. But I'm just doing it today because I added a little too much. Usually, I'll pour it in a plastic bag or I would pour it in a sink. So now, I'm just mis mixing it thoroughly until it's nice and smooth. Now I am going to be choosing the pigments that I will be using. Everything that I brought on Amazon will be linked in the description below. And today I'm going to be using this like rosy pink color. This is also me trying to focus so you guys can really see it again. But this is makeup powder. You can see the labels and stuff. But uh, I'm uploading it out though because I don't know if I have copyrights to do that. But yes. So I am going to be using a rosy pink color of this and yeah I am pouring a little bit more oil because it was a little too thick. So I will be pouring a little more oil. I mean, not Oreo, oil. I'm also pouring more base because I did pour a little too much oil. So the thing with lip gloss is you have to get the right. Um, mixtures and proportions right just to have a nice feel to the lip gloss so I w would do this on a regular occasion if I do make it too thick or if I make it too um, runny or watery but this is the tube that I'll be using I will be linking the um, this also in the description everything that I'm using in this video is linked in the description and I will be using the syringe to um, fill this up obviously but yeah guys so Oh, excuse me. It is 1 in the morning. But, um, like I said, I'm just going to let the video talk in silence for you guys. And you can just see what I'm doing here. And, yeah, so, see you at the end.
Sorry guys, in this scene my camera, and don't mind the audio, but my camera started to mess up. I do not know why. It has gotten fixed, but it started to mess up, so it will be like a little scratches or scenes, but I will not play them. I um, would just have to like cut this video short. It was supposed to be longer, but that's kind of glad so you won't have to be listening to me anymore. But I will be posting a video, I mean a picture or a video at the end. So yeah. Thanks for watching. This is the finished product.